In this daily dose of public speaking wisdom, you'll discover how you can touch millions of lives. Hey, I'm still here in Denver for the Toastmasters International Conference 2019. Yesterday, I had the privilege of being interviewed by a gentleman named Amjed, who is from the Middle East. To close out the interview, he asked me one final question. How many lives have you touched? My first instinct was to say, well, I'm not sure, thousands. I've spoken to a lot of groups and coached many people, but I'm not sure exactly how many. Then I get a flash of inspiration. And I looked at him and I said, I believe I've touched millions, at least two million. He said, well, what do you mean you think? I said, well, the, your question could be taken as how many people have I spoken to or how many people have I coached? But we go way beyond those people in front of us to impact them. I coached a gentleman four years ago for TEDx Cincinnati, whose video has been seen by over two million people. I've coached people in the World Championship of Public Speaking. I've coached speakers from the National Speakers Association who've gone out and spoken to thousands of people. So indirectly, I have touched millions of lives even though I will never see those people. And I'm not taking credit for those other speakers, by the way. I had a small part in them. But this is something I learned from my dad many years ago. My dad was a teacher. And one day in 2000, we were standing in, in the lobby of a restaurant waiting to be seated when a young man came up to him and he very tentatively approached him and said, Mr. Davis? And my dad said, can I help you? He said, oh my gosh, you already have, sir. He said, you probably don't remember me. My name's Craig and you were my biology teacher back in 1975. My dad said, well, I'm, I'm sorry, Craig, I don't remember. Craig said, that's okay. I, I just had to come over and talk to you because you did so much for me back then. He said, you know, I was 14 years old in 1975 and I was going through a really tough time with my family and I was an adolescent, you know how that can be uh, tough for kids. And you helped me find a confidence I never knew I had. And you could, I was watching my dad's face and you could see he was very pleased by this. He said, Mr. Davis, that's not the biggest reason I came over though. He said, because of you, I'm a doctor today. You helped me find a love of biology and the human body that I just never knew I had. And I was so inspired by your class, I went on to become a doctor. My dad just stood there for the longest time. He said, thank you, Craig. You don't know how much that means to me. And they closed out the conversation, went their separate ways. And I was watching this whole thing thinking, oh my gosh, I didn't realize the impact that a teacher or a speaker or any you know, leaders can have years after the fact. The most important thought that I took away from that chance encounter was that most of the time, you never know who you've touched. That's how you can touch millions of lives, through a speech, through a video, through a sales presentation. There is a cascading effect, or call it a domino effect, of people who you will never meet, who you will never talk to, who you will never see, who will be impacted by your message. So how can you touch millions of lives? Go out and give a speech, help another speaker, post videos with your tips, your expertise. Trust that you're going to touch lives even though you'll never know most of the people whose lives you've had an impact on. Talk with you on our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking.